Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 2008's Transformers Universe. Drop Shot. Now, Drop Shot here was another figure that fell victim to my Transformer Purge of 2011. And he was also one of those ones that I immediately regretted selling after I shipped him off. Now, recently, I was just searching on eBay for Transformers, and I saw a Drop Shot, this one right here. He was ending in like a half an hour, and it was at an actual decent price. So I bid and I won him and I was so excited to finally get a drop shot back in my collection. And then he arrived, and I'm going to go on a little rant right here. When he showed up, he showed up in this box right here inside this plastic baggie. I still have the instructions in there, and that was it. No packing material whatsoever. Drop shot in this plastic baggie, shoved in the box, banging around. And the seller didn't even transform him. He wasn't in robot mode. He wasn't in vehicle mode. They had taken him and just folded him up like this. I mean, just messy looking, just so he could fit into this bag. Threw him in the box and shipped him to me. So I'm getting the box. He's bouncing around. I'm like, oh my God, he's broke. And when I did open up the baggie, the little leg panels had actually popped off, but I had forgot those were just little ball joints. They popped right back in and proud to say and happy to say actually that he is actually in great shape. But still, if you're going to sell something on eBay, pack it securely. I mean, when I sell stuff, I make sure I, I use bubble wrap, newspaper, whatever to make sure it doesn't bounce around. The seller who sold me this didn't give a shit. So, enough of my rant. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. We'll start things off with Drop Shot's Vehicle Mode, which is based upon the Russian TOS-1 mobile rocket platform, which could launch a barrage of up to 22 rockets, which could destroy an area equal to about eight city blocks. Drop Shot's vehicle mode looks amazing. This is a really cool vehicle, and like I said, this color scheme is why I picked this version up. He's got great molded detail all over. You can see the hatches right there on the front of the vehicle. You've got the cow catcher right here with the molded-in hydraulic system. The treads look amazing. You've got the wheels, an actual separate collar than the treads themselves. Though those are faux treads, the actual wheels are right there. Moving along the rest of the vehicle, more molded detail all the way around. This thing just looks awesome. As I just said, he does have wheels underneath, so the vehicle can roll, though it seems to slide more than actually roll. Lots of great molded detail up here for the rockets. They're actually painted different than the brown insert right here. You got gray or silver rocket tips with a brown insert. You got a black Decepticon logo with DC02077. Really not sure what that means because when I Google that number, 
an image of drop shot pops up. So that may be something just associated with this figure. Big black Decepticon logo there on top. Now, as far as articulation for the vehicle, it's actually pretty surprising. The rocket system can actually lift up and down. And of course, it's a nice ratchet system and can even rotate once again on some really, really nice ratchets. The cow catchers right here can move up and down as well, but it separates from the hydraulic system and they really don't look that good in that position. They're much better folded up like that so they blend in with the hydraulics. So overall, a really, really cool looking vehicle. Now he does come with a couple of accessories. He has this rifle right here, which looks really good. It's got a molded in scope and trigger. I don't see that many transformer weapons with triggers. Now for vehicle mode, it's got a little hole right there. So it can attach to this peg here on this side, or there's another peg there on the other. So either way, you can mount the weapon right there on the side. The other accessory is this little brown planet key. And this is used to unlock special features. There are two different slots right here on top of the rocket pod. You put the key in this first slot here, and that unleashes a mega cannon. That is sweet. A gigantic cannon, railgun, flamethrower, whatever you want to call it. I love that. That is awesome. Take the key out and insert it here on the other side. And that reveals another rocket system. You've got a flip up targeting rectangle right there. Get your thumbnail in, slide this out. And you have, if I can get it, there we go, two rockets there on the side. And these are actually spring-loaded. Got little triggers right here. Hit that, and they launch across the room. Get the rockets put right back in the system here. And there we go. So this vehicle mode is really well-armed. You've got 22 pretend missiles here. Two missiles there on the side and the giant cannon, not to mention the blaster there on the side. This thing is ready to lay down some hell on some Autobots. Now let's get drop shot transformed into robot mode. And the first thing you want to do is remove the rifle. Go ahead and fold the mega cannon back up. You have to make sure the key is out in order for these to fold up correctly. Just push that in till it clicks. Push the rockets in and get the key out. Fold down the targeting receptacle, rectacle. Push this in once again until it clicks. And there you go. Now for transformation, what you're going to do is take these rear panels where the back of the tracks are. And that is a nice tight fit. There you go. Pop that out. And this is on a little ball joint. So what you want to do is bring this out and rotate around go ahead and do that with the other side get your thumbnail in pop that out it was a lot easier than the other one rotate this spin it around and now you'll see these holes right there which will line up to these pegs so go ahead and bring this in and go ahead and fold the cow catchers down and the hydraulics up those will form the robot feet and now peg in those panels and there you pretty much have the legs of drop shot all finished up. Now what you're going to do is lift this up slightly and you're going to separate the rocket pod. There you go. It's actually connected. You got two pegs that line up with those two holes. Bring these around. These will form the robot arms. Right here, the robot head. Bring this up and over. It's got a little peg there on the bottom of the neck. You want to line up to this slot. Get that pegged in. Get drop shot stood up. Now you want to reach in here. Get your thumbnail in. Flip out the fists. And there you have drop shot in robot mode. Well, forgot to separate the legs. And this guy <laughs> looks pretty sweet. I dig it. He just looks tough. Zooming in here on the face sculpt. I love the face sculpt. It looks like he's wearing night vision goggles. He's got a 
blue visor right there, silver face, little green light, purple goggle right there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Love the paint scheme. Paint scheme is very military looking. Aside from it being a little too yellow for my liking, I would have really preferred it to be more of a desert collar, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Lots of molded details on robot mode as, as well, and some fantastic paint applications all the way around. And for such a bulky, blocky figure, he has tons of articulation. The head is on a swivel. It can just look left and right. It can't do a complete 360, but you really don't need to do that anyway. Arms can go in and out, do a complete 360, and listen to those ratchets. Ratchets all over the place. There's also a elbow bend, and there is a rotation. It's an upper arm rotation. No wrist rotation whatsoever. Legs, once again, they can go up and down, forward and back. There is a knee bend. There we go. Once again, on nice ratchets. Every joint that this figure has is on ratchets, and it is awesome. I wish they made figures like that today. I mean, they just, they don't put ratchets on figures anymore. I miss that. So, you can take Drop Shot's rifle, place it in his hand like so, and now you have him all armed with his blaster, or the same gimmicks that worked in vehicle mode can also work in robot mode. Go ahead and remove the blaster, and I like to store it right here on his back. He's got two holes right there. Just plug the blaster in, gives him a cool little over-the-shoulder look there. And take your planet key, and for the right arm, plug the key in. Come on now. There we go. That will unleash the Mega Cannon. Now, once you get the cannon popped up, there's an extra step in robot mode. You want to slide this whole section forward there we go and you'll see a molded in handle right there so now it looks like he's actually wielding this mega cannon and that looks awesome i love it and the articulation works too he can bend his elbow or point it out straight like so so i do like how the articulation can work with the mega cannon Plus, he's got the missiles there on the side as well. Take the key here on the other arm, and this will unleash the rocket launcher. So you have that, but with the rocket launcher, it's designed to stay where it is. You can't pull it forward. You can see the molded-in handle right there. So there is no bend at the elbow with this mode or this weapon. Push the rockets forward, and there you go. You have got drop shot all armed and ready for battle and he looks great though the little targeting system here really doesn't come into play for this mode plus you can also launch those rockets if you can get the button there we go angle those a little better so they don't shoot across my room this time so there you go guys there is drop shot ready for combat and now for some quick size comparisons, here is 2008's Transformers Universe Drop Shot with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Drop Shot, and Earthrise Double Dealer. 2008's Transformers Universe Drop Shot is an amazing Transformers toy. This is one that they definitely do not make anymore. He is loaded with gimmicks. You got the flip out mega cannon, launching missiles, a great vehicle mode with wheels and a rotating turret. You got a robot mode that is chock full of articulation. I just cannot find anything to complain about this figure. He is awesome and highly recommended. So there you go, guys. Transformers Universe Drop Shot. So. Does a 2008 Transformers Universe drop shot belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is such a fun Transformers toy. He's got a great alt mode, great robot mode, tons of articulation, great ratchets, and you gotta love those gimmicks. I wish figures today had gimmicks. This guy is just a ton of fun. Now, 
This right here is a mold that was used three different times. The original was Cybertron, yes, Cybertron Scattershot that was a white, red, and blue version. Then you had Drop Shot here. And then there was another universe version. I believe he was called Overload. And that was a more military green looking bot, but I looked him up on eBay. He's still quite expensive. But yeah, you have the opportunity to grab any one of these molds. Don't hesitate. You are going to love this guy. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!